for this next one, we're going to solve the triangle. Remember, to solve the triangle means to solve for all unknown measures, angles, and sides. So here, I want to write, list out all the different measures I'm going to look for. So measure of angle B, measure of angle C, and then side A. Okay, and that's just so that I don't forget to solve for something. Now, we have no angle side pairs. So we have measure of angle A, but we don't have side A. And here and here. So no angle side pairs. That means I'm going to have to use law of cosines. <clears throat> the three formulas, again, will be A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of angle A. Then B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2 times A times C times cosine of angle B. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2 A times B cosine of angle C. Okay, so first, in order for me to solve for this angle measure, I want to, I want this sign here. If, if I want to solve for um, angle B, then I'm gonna have to know all the measures of these sides. Okay, so since we're given the two sides, side C and side B, I'm gonna look for a side A. So then, since I have Measure of angle A, I want to use this first one, okay, because that's um, what goes in there. So it's going to be A squared equals 20 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of 47. So A squared equals 100 plus 576 minus, um, don't forget that you cannot subtract this number with this, okay? Um, it's going to be 2 times 20 times 24 times the cosine of 47. Okay, so you're going to multiply all four of those numbers together. number and times okay so it says 654.72 and then okay now that you multiply all that you're just going to um, take this, add that, subtract that. So 400, oops, 400, add the 576, and subtract 654.72. You're going to get 321.28, and then to find A, we're going to have to square root that. You're going to get 17.92. So I'm going to write that answer here for this one. 92. And then I need to solve for um, these two. So the measure of angle B. Um, now that I have this, so if I write this in here. Um, and Keep in mind that for any given problem where you have to use law of cosine, you only have to use it once. You don't have to keep using it. So here, if I'm solving the triangle, then I have to find um, the measures of three unknowns. I don't have to use law of cosine for each one of these. Okay, I only have to use it once, and then once you use it once, you're gonna have you're gonna end up with an angle side pair. So if, since I solved for a. I have side A and I have angle A. There's my angle side pair. 
If you have an angle-side pair, then you know to use law of sines. So sine of A over A equals the sine of angle B over side B, which is equal to sine of C over side C. Okay, so um, since we have the angle-side pair as angle A and side A, we're going to use this one. And then if we solve for angle B first, then I'm going to use that one. So sine of, okay, I'll solve it down here, sine of 47 over 17.92 equals sine of angle B over 20. Okay, so you're going to cross multiply, that'll be 20 sine of 47 equals 17.92 sine of B. So this is going to be using your calculator. Remember that this is sine, not cosine. So it's this number, and then divide it by, because remember that this is your variable that you're solving for. So that's the coefficient. So I need to divide this number. Seventeen point nine two. So I get. 0 0.816, okay, and I'm just going to double check that real quick. So then 47, the sine of 47 degrees, times that by 20. You can do 20 times sine of 47, okay, it depends on um, what your calculator can do. Divide it by 17.92. Okay, so point eight one six equals sine of angle B. Now again, um, here we're looking for the angle measure, right? So we're gonna have to use the inverse sine. That means you're gonna hit the second button and sine. So that's gonna give us B. B is 54.71. Measure of angle B, 54.71. Okay, so we still have one more to solve for. Measure of angle C. Now, we want to look for the easiest possible way to solve for this. If you want, you can go ahead and use law of sines again, right? Because you have, you know, you have two different angle side pairs but for this one since I have two angle measures I just want to look for the third one using the angle sum theorem okay keep that in mind two angles you have two angles that would be the easiest way to look for the third angle so measure of angle C is going to be 180 minus 47 added to 54.71. Okay, so 180 minus, and then what are um, these two? That'll be 101.71. Okay, that means measure of angle C is going to be two, so that'll be 78. Point twenty nine, okay. one hundred eighty minus one hundred one point seven one. Okay, so measuring angle C is seventy eight point two nine. All three of these are your answers because uh, these are the unknown measures of the triangle. Okay. So when it says solve the triangle, then you're going to be looking for all the unknown measures. 
So um, just the easiest way would be to just first write it out, write out what you have to find, and then one at a time, okay? So uh, first, always look to see if you can uh, use law of sine or law of cosine. In our case, we had to use law of cosine because we had no angle side pair. Okay, we're gonna look for that side. And then from there, you can, um, you only have to use law of cosines once, okay, in a single problem. So we use law of cosine, and then since that gave us an angle side pair, we can go ahead and, we went ahead and use law of sines to find one of the angle measures. Then since you're given two angle measures, you can solve for the third angle measure by the angle sum theorem. Okay, so that's solving the triangle.